Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, on the left. Left side is the right side. The scaffold was high, and eternity was near. Is that a hitchhiker? I mean, stop it, I mean, keep on driving. She looks kind of ominous. You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, do you mind giving me a lift? Right. Oh, sure. This lady of seems kind of weird. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh? Weird. That's actually where I'm going too. So it's not out of your way. Uh, guess not. Not even a USA. Hunt that. Eat change. Choose to pick up the hitchhiker. Hello, traveler. Trophy earned. I'm very surprised that you guys are being nice. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. No, she's not a talker. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once oh. upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Either. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't nice know anyway shithole. because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if Didn't I was worried, you might try to clock me. Ah, uh, sorry. So we can ask her what she does for a living, or do you know anything about the manor? <laughs> he had the chance to drive past her. It might have killed her. We might have knocked her over or something. I don't know what it happened, but yeah. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. Oh. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. 
hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Huh. We have a good relationship with Linda. Hey. Take a look. Oh yeah, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, all the lights I think just we've turn come on. to the end of the rainbow. The gates just open themselves. The house of darkness. <laughs> okay. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. No. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh! I... Doorbell. Bring it like 20 times, please. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody See the details home? on the window? The, the claws? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Yeah, sure. Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... Off. Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Yeah, let's look around. Touch all the things, and now all the lights have suddenly just come um, on. Hello? We've arrived. Are you looking at that lady? Is this you in a past life? Fancy hair? I'm just following her around. What's this? It's invisible. Looks like some hieroglyphics. Of a fancy lady. It's a dead end. Oh. Okay. So we're after a Potato next question mark. <laughs> it looks like I'm saying it's me. I don't know. Is this like the same lady in all the paintings?
Uh, do we stay on the ground floor first? Ground floor first, then upstairs, or see a clan right on? Oh, the finger? Pinky finger, yeah. We stay on the ground floor, investigate ground floor first, and then go up. Super weird. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah. It's a little odd. Oh, God. This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. We've been invited here for a reason. And I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces open as leather doors. masks. <sighs> I didn't know I could open doors. Hang That's on, lady. super comforting. I'll open that door. All the ladies look like that lady. Yeah. So I think it kinda of looks like um Linda, right? I like how she just like stormed off like she's going. That one, yeah, that looks like Linda, doesn't it? Linda Me and you are supposed to be friends. Don't start cut me off. This seems a bit more lively. One. So, not this way then. Locked from the side. I kind of want to investigate upstairs before I go in there. Then we said ground floor first, but I have a feeling that's like a big hall that's gonna take us out of here. Oh, look at these little crocodile men up here. Very eclectic house, isn't it? Oh. King isn't missing from there. Huh. Well, even I could play this. Survivor's theme by M. B, B, C, B, D, B, D, B. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Bethabu. How are you doing? We are in the world of Dead by Daylight, but not in the world of Dead by Daylight. Yeah, playing the casting Frank Stone that is set in the DVD universe. Uh, I don't want to miss anything. I think we checked all right. So I'm giving up it says. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> I can probably play that tune, right? There's a thing on there. Right, Looks like one of those boxes open, but the person really likes chess, huh? Alright. This is Lieber, hopefully that's how you say that. I'm going to confirm that as your per instructions, I've asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. Seems a bit weird. Right, you've asked people to come over and then you tell the staff 
to vacate. Paul hearing you mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest in to self. This is a case, wouldn't it be preferable, even desirable, to keep one's trusted staff member on hand to handle any precedent items if required? I recommend myself for this duty. I do not consider it below my station, but I would relish for the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary should it be needed. Many short drive away if called upon if you needn't concern yourself with discretion. My three years of service as an estate manager of Garant Manor, I have proven to be a model of reserve, probability and reliability. Await your response to Queen Abitation, your devoted servant. J.F. Rhymes. Bruno Stanford Bird Esquire Business Connoisseur Behind all good ideas is a plan. Behind a great one is a stan. Bruno. Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. Bruno, you're a little bit weird. AL. So this is the lady we came to see by AL. Looking forward to do business. You meant what you promised. I'm sure this evening will be worth both our whiles. See you on the 13th and please call me Stan. Yes, got a good number for one of those British black cabs. My usual guys into space, so to speak. I Have I a lovely we might night, not be Beth. The only ones it's here. always lovely to see you. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. So she doesn't like business people. That picture looks like her too. Right? Very weird if she's pretending to be this lady. Should we see if we can play this tune? Do you play? Um, a little. <laughs> no. oh. <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? Uh, it's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors to allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. Okay. Do we go down the mystery passage? I suppose we do, right? <laughs> A, that's a camera angle and a half. I haven't missed that from these type of games. This is the murder basement, right? This is the murder basement, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna camp up here. Come on. Lady's already dead. Daylight. Hmm. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. <laughs> Where's the trinkets? She's only got one trinket. That's creepy, though. What do you, what do you reckon on the creepy huntress scale? I like that she's got like a razor blade. Paper thing. I am the hunters. I'm gonna throw hatchets at you and hit you with them. 
anyone drink it? Let's see. Okay, the Huntress. Anna left the harsh winters of the Red Forest in search of more dangerous game, but none have proven so far proven a challenge worth her talents. And the little boy hunts, haunts the darkness, hinting at the tale of a hunt unfinished, a gentle prize she has not yet captured. Her axe remains sharp. The hunt goes on. Yeah, it's pretty dark, isn't it? So can I see my relationship now? Okay, certain choices you make have direct impact on the relationship between characters. The current status of each character relationship is displayed when you access the relationship screen. Okay, by selecting character name you can see the choices that impacted your relationship. So we are like... Halfway with face girl again. Let's go. Let's go. Stop being stupid. Lady got oh, this took us to that door that was locked, right? That was locked from the other side. Linda's a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, here we go. 